down at one point to a dollar forty-two. Remember that? But I had to get it a little up. We had to let the oil companies make a couple of bucks. I didn't want to wipe out the oil companies. But what's happened is one of the big reasons for inflation is what this guy has done with energy, because energy is so all-encompassing. It's so big. With the help of Pennsylvania energy workers, did you get screwed or what? Remember, I told you they were going to do this to you. He lied during the debate. He said, no, no, I would never do that. The first thing he did practically was end the Keystone Pipeline, right? That was like the first thing he did. And you know, all those workers voted for me, but the head of the union voted for I wonder, is he still the head? Check it out. He ought to be fired real fast. The Keystone Pipeline would have been great. A lot of jobs and would have done a good job. With the help of Pennsylvania energy workers, under my leadership, we had American energy independence for the first time ever. Ever. And within a short period of time, we would have been energy dominant. We would have been bigger than Russia and Saudi Arabia combined times two. And now we're beggars. We're like a beggar nation. We gave you energy beggars. We would have been bigger than everybody combined. The two biggest, the biggest energy suppliers combined times two. We we're going to be energy dominant, and now we're beggars. We gave you the largest tax cuts and regulation cuts in American history. The radical Democrat Congress just passed one of the largest tax hikes in American history, pulverizing the middle class. And now you have the privilege of having 87,000 IRS agents go after you. And they've actually been approved. I'd never heard of this one. They got approved to carry guns so they can go after you with guns. You know, they don't want to have guns, but it's okay for the IRS. It's like an army. Can you imagine that that was approved, that they allowed that to get through? And all Mitch McConnell had to do is waive their debt ceiling. I'm not approving anything having to do with debt ceiling unless you drop all this crap. Four trillion dollars worth because Manchin folded like a dog. You saw that. And I always said he would. I told you he would. He did. And West Virginia, which voted for me, 45 points. I was up 45 points. West Virginia is not happy with Joe Manchin because he killed coal and they put taxes on coal. Clean, beautiful coal. He killed it. I can't imagine he's going to do well. I don't know what the hell got to him. Under the Trump administration, we had the greatest economy in the history of the world with no inflation. Biden and the Democrat Congress created the worst inflation in 50 years, 9.1 percent, and it's going to go a lot higher. And now they are making it worse with their immoral plan to wipe out hundreds of billions of dollars of debt for college graduates. Now think of this. How unfair is it? How unfair is it to all of those people, many of you are here, that paid and worked so hard. I saw they were doing a story about Pocahontas. That's Elizabeth Warren from Massachusetts. And this big, strong guy came up to her, really a good-looking good guy. I looked at him and I said, well, what's going on with this debt? You want to cancel the debt? I've been working my ass off for 12 years, he said. And I've almost got my daughter's debt paid off. I worked weekends, 12 years. My neighbor, he's my friend, but he hasn't worked at all. And now the debt's going to be canceled, but I worked. This is unfair. And then he was not too nice after that, so we'll forget what he said. But he was not too happy. But you can multiply that times millions and millions of people. They paid for it on the backs of hard-working citizens and they're raising your taxes remember this you don't realize it you're getting the biggest tax increase in history it's all disinformation they're saying under under four hundred thousand you're getting the biggest tax increase in the history of our country so enjoy paying it and you know what it's paying for things like that but the green new deal which is like taking the money and throwing it out the window and it's actually worse it's actually like taking the money and destroying our country because it sets us back. 
Just like Germany. You know, Germany's back to building and opening its plants because they got screwed up with their green new energy. They got carried away. Windmills all over the place, killing all the birds, destroying all the values of homes, destroying the plains and fields, beautiful plains. If you want to see a dead bird cemetery go under a windmill sometime, it's not a pretty sight. It's also the single most expensive form of energy you can get. And all of those big giant turbines are built in China and Germany to a lesser extent. I rebuilt our military, including our nuclear capability, and hope to God we never have to use it. And the creation of Space Force. Do you see what they're doing with Iran? Iran was dying to make a deal with me. I would have had a deal done within one week after the election. And now we're going to pay them hundreds of billions of dollars and they're going to have nuclear weapons within a short period of time. These people are crazy. This, cra I mean, they honestly, they can't be stupid. They must hate our country. They must hate our country. They surrendered our strength and our wisdom or everything they turned afghanistan into the greatest humiliation our country has ever seen i believe it was the most humiliating thing time that our country's ever gone through 13 dead soldiers but they never mentioned those soldiers who lost their legs and arms and face they were obliterated nobody talks about them and there were many Nobody talks about them. We left American citizens behind. And we left $85 billion worth of the best military equipment in the entire world. Planes and tanks and goggles. 700,000 rifles and 8K-47s. We left it all behind. Think of this. 70,000 vehicles. There's not a used car lot in the country that has probably 500 vehicles. 70,000 vehicles we left behind. Some of those vehicles cost millions of dollars because they're armor plated with six inches of steel. We left it all behind. I built much of it because I rebuilt our entire military. We left, think of it, $85 billion worth of military equipment. And you know, I saw a number the other day. The second largest arms dealer in the entire world is Afghanistan. Because they're selling, because they don't need 700,000 rifles and guns. 700,000. They need 40,000 or 20,000. What were we thinking? You don't take the military out first. And remember this in Afghanistan. 18 months. We didn't lose one soldier. You heard the numbers on Philadelphia? 18 months. I spoke to Abdul. I said, Abdul, don't do it, Abdul. Don't do it. Don't do it. But why, sir? Why do you send me a picture of my house? I said, Abdul, that's a different story. Don't do it. And we were fine. Remember, they said, why is he speaking to the Taliban? Because that's where the problem was, right? That's where the problem was. 18 months, and Biden actually said it a couple of months ago. Well, I'll say one thing. We uh, didn't lose uh, one soldier in 18 months, and they're screaming at him. You're not supposed to say that because it's good. We didn't lose a soldier in 18 months. They were so afraid. They didn't want anything. We could have gotten out. I wanted to get out more than anybody. I'm the one that got it down to 2,000. But also, we should have kept Bagram because of China. Bagram Air Base cost billions and billions of dollars years ago to build. It's one hour away from where China makes its nuclear weapons. We should have never left without keeping Bagram. What a shame. The most humiliating time, I believe actually that probably Putin went in because when he saw the incompetence of that, he said, this is going to be easier than I thought. And now we have a war between Russia and Ukraine with potentially hundreds of thousands and even millions of people are going to die. That would have never happened if I was your president. It would have never happened. I promise you. I talked to him. Vladimir, you can't do that. Can't do it, Vladimir. Those beautiful golden turrets in Moscow, Vladimir, I want to leave them alone, please. You can't do it, Vladimir. He would never have done it. He would never have done it. He said, well, I sort of believe you because you actually did kill me on Nord Stream 2. Nobody thought that was possible. 
I ended North. Can you imagine? Biden came in and he opened up the pipeline. I ended it. Then they say, oh, Trump was soft on Russia. I was soft. The only one that doesn't think that is Putin. He didn't think I was too soft with the sanctions. But think of it. The biggest deal they've ever done is Nord Stream 2 that nobody ever heard of until I came along. They were building this massive pipeline. Nobody ever heard of Nord Stream 2 until I came along. We created the safest border in United States history. We ended catch and release. We deported record numbers of illegal aliens, gang members, and we built hundreds and hundreds of miles of border wall despite two and a half years of Democrat-inspired lawsuits. We had 11 lawsuits. I won every one of them. Took two and a half years to win. And you know, we completely finished our original plan for the wall. And they came to me, sir, we have some other sections. I said, let's do it. Come on, let's go fast. Then we added much more wall, 200 miles. And we almost got that finished on top of what we did. And I figured that this guy would finish it up. And he didn't. Not only didn't he finish, when Texas wanted to use the stuff that was sitting there ready to be erected, it was going to be erected very quickly, very quickly, very effectively. Great, great wall. It's exactly what Border Patrol wanted. I said, what do you want? This is exactly. They want steel. They wanted concrete. They wanted a rebar, heavy set rebar. They wanted exactly. And they have to be able to see through so we see what's happening on the other side. I wanted to just give a nice, big, beautiful concrete plank, but they didn't want that. So we gave them exactly what they wanted, and it could have been finished in a few weeks. And not only didn't they give this free to Texas, where Texas could have put it up, they actually took it away and put it in a secure area where nobody can take it. That's just a terrible thing. Three weeks was all it would have taken to complete the job. Our country is paying a terrible price.